Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the second episode of Grandma Wendy about the Bible. Uh, this is actually when it's being recorded, it's Memorial Day weekend. So Memorial Day weekend, we are honoring uh, the memory of all of our fallen heroes, the ones who have given uh, their life to service, not only the ones who have died during and in battle or dur during their service, but those who have served and passed afterwards. So we want to remember and honor um, all of them. So you might know somebody personally who, um, who we can honor and remember, or you may have a family member that you've never met before that may be, um, that you may be able to honor and remember. But, but all, all the people who service our country are deserving of the honor. And especially after um, this day, we take, we take to appreciate and, and understand and and when we pray that God provides for their families just as they provided for us, the security. Um, we live in, a, in a, a country that is free from a lot that other countries are not free from. So we have a lot to be thankful for, and it's the men and women in service that really um, we owe a bunch of gratitude towards for. That being said, um, that's going to bring me into today's song. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to do a song in the beginning of each one. So to, I will send you a link of the song that I'm singing and um, and the version that I'm singing. Uh, there's no, not, I'm doing it a cappella. There's no no music. So, but I'll send a link to the the song that has the words. Okay. So here we go. Brum, brum, brum. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Our God is marching on. I have seen him in the watch fires, a hundred circling camps. They have builded him an altar in the evening dews and damps. I can read his righteous sentence by the dimming and then flaring lamps, his day is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Our God is marching on. In the beauty of the lily, Christ was born across the sea with the glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make men holy, let us die to make men free while God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah, our God is marching on. So that was today's song. So also, in honor of Memorial Day, and we know that our, our military fight a battle, but um, we also do every single day. So one of the gifts that God has given us, of course, is his written word. So we find that in, in his Bible. Um, and today, today's reading, I'm going to read from Ephesians. And I will find it here. I know it's here somewhere. It is Ephesians 6. And it reads, you know, um, I have it here. Um, underlined and starred and all Ephesians 6 but uh, just to make it a little easier for me I'm going to actually read it off of the screen and I'm going to be reading the English uh, standard version uh, but that's that's I'm getting used to this version and I kind of like it 
so it's easy to understand. So it starts out, uh, and this is Ephesians 6. We're going to do the whole um, chapter 6. It's not too long, don't worry. It says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. And the promise is actually, I'm adding this part in, the promise is, and this is, goes back to 6.3, that all may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. That's the promise. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. And bonds, this is about bond servants and masters. Um, well, we don't really have that so much anymore, but we can also maybe um, relate it to a boss or somebody who you serve here on earth um, or that, that here on earth we have like different um, levels of authority and you might, we might have people who look down on other people for whatever, but bond servants and masters or you know, whatever authority and, and who serves them. So uh, this is going to chapter 6, verse 5. Bond servants, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, with a sincere heart as you would Christ, not by the way of, of eye service as people pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ, doing, what, doing the will of God from the heart, rendering service with good will as to the Lord and not to man, knowing that whatever good anyone does, uh, this he will receive back from the Lord, whether he be a bondservant or is free. Masters, do the same to, to them and stop your threatening, knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven and that there is no partiality with him. So, then we continue on, and this pertains to the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. This is in uh, starts with chapter six, verse ten. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the length. And excuse me, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Stand therefore having fast, fastened on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take the shield of faith um, with, the, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying at all times in the spirit. Uh, with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all per perseverance, making supplication for all saints, for all the saints. And also for me, that words may be given to me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that I may declare it boldly as I ought to speak. Then there was final greetings, which said, so that you may also know that I am, and so, sorry, so you may know also how I am and what I am doing. I'm very bad at pronouncing names, but uh, the name I think is uh, Tychicus, uh, the beloved brother and faithful minister of the Lord will tell you everything. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are and that he may encourage your hearts. Peace to the brothers and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with you all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with love incorruptible. So that is... Um, that's what uh, we're going to talk about. So when we become Christians, we and the way we do that is by 
believing in Jesus, believing that he is the Savior and um, and that, that it was through his shed blood that we are saved. Um, we, we, as we were all born sinners, we're always going to make mistakes. There is nothing that we can ever do to become right with God because we were born sinners. We, we just don't have the capability or the capacity to do that. So Jesus came and died on the cross for our sins because he led a perfect life. And like this in, in the old Testament, they had sacrifice, sacrifices, um, to, for begging God for forgiveness for multiple things, um, for everything, Jesus became the sacrifice. So, so we don't have to sacrifice anymore. Jesus is that sacrifice. Um, what we need to do is we need to acknowledge our sins and our faults and, um, and go to the Lord with a, tr a true, um, with the true desire to be more Christ-like, um, and ask for forgiveness, a true de desire to not do those things any longer, to not sin, whether they be actions or thoughts or, or whatever that sin is, um, but with a true desire not to. So that's the difference between, um, asking for forgiveness and repentance. Repentance is the portion where we don't want to do those things. So we ask God to help us correct those things. And he does. Believe me, he does. He really, really does. Uh, um, 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 I'm testimony to that. Um, but when we become Christians and we ask for salvation, God gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Once you have that gift of the Holy Spirit is with you forever. What the gift of the Holy Spirit is, it's part of it, Jesus is part of God. There's it's it's a, it's a three. Jesus is part of God, and uh, and the Holy Spirit is the gift Jesus gave to us. So we always have a part of God and Jesus with us. And the Holy Spirit has a job to sort of interpret for us, uh, to, to send our, um, our thoughts, our fears, our prayers to God. And what happens is that we pray through Jesus because there's no way to get through to God except through Jesus. So Jesus is actually praying those, our, the Holy Spirit will send that, um, just our, 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 what we're praying for. And he relays that to Jesus. Jesus prays with us to God the Father. Um, and God the Father answers all prayers. Um, and when you when we pray in the name of Jesus, um, God answers those prayers. Not always yes, not always no. And not always right now. Sometimes we just don't know. But along with the Holy Spirit, he gave us the armor of God. Now... Last week, I'm going to stop for a second. Last week, we talked about the fruits of the Spirit. So I um, just want to touch base to anybody, any of the, the kids or adults or whoever out there, if you've gotten a chance to uh, go ahead and, and either draw a picture or do something. And I found a, a coloring page online and I printed it out and I colored it. And that was my uh, fruits of the Spirit. So I have my love, joy. Um, um, it's, it's sort of in different orders. Love, joy, peace, um, kindness, patience, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, goodness. Um, so that was the picture that I drew. So I'm hoping that you all got a chance to do something uh, creative to help you learn those. And I, I put this next to my bed and I see it all the time. So I was thinking, well, with the with the uh, armor of God, how do we remember? And what exactly is the armor of God? They, they said it, and there we have God's word is like the sword. So I printed this one out too, and I colored it. And we have the helmet of salvation. We have the shield of faith. We have the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, 
and on his shoes he has written the gospel of peace so we have to be ready uh, to present peacefulness and then it references the bible verse so so i colored that one for um for the shield for the um armor of god and if you don't have a printer you can make your own armor if you want to to remember what they are um and i'll also write down what they are um in the, the little notes um and then also if you want to be creative um and, and make something bigger you can make a well, maybe you have some um I'm losing my my brain um, cardboard maybe you have a piece of cardboard or something that you can cut out to make a shield and and maybe attach a little strap or something maybe with a rubber band or something like that to make a strap and you can color it um, and then have the shield and just put um, you know uh, just put faith on it or or whatever words that you want to or maybe you know maybe you can cut make little cutouts and then maybe put it on your wall or or have it so so you can you remember so that being said um i was actually also looking through uh some of the things that we just read so i'm i went through the dictionary to just to ex explain some things so salvation what is salvation what does it actually mean so i went to the dictionary and um so salvation is the preservation or deliverance from harm ruin or loss so an example sentence is uh, they try to sell it uh, sell it to us as economic salvation um but the in theology which is the study of the bible it, salvation is the deliverance from sin and its consequences believed by christians to be brought about by faith in christ so there we go so that is the um salvation is one of the armors of God so but it's to be brought on by the faith of God so we have the shield of faith what is faith faith it says here is complete trust or confidence in someone or something a strong belief in God or in the doctrines of a religion based on a spiritual apprehension rather than proof so faith is we you believe you you know in your heart it's true it's it's faith um now we have the breastplate of righteousness so what exactly is righteousness righteousness says here it is the quality of being morally right or justifiable so so when you're approached by somebody or whatever you 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 want to make sure that you are in the right and so that's the breastplate so god's providing you with that that is is your assuredness that that you're doing the right thing and if you have problems or, or questioning any of those always you can always ask god for for guidance he will he will help you now it's also we have uh, truth is one of the armors of god so the truth is the quality or state of being true that which is true or in accordance with fact or reality and a fact or belief that is accepted as true so when we are engaged in conversation or um or whatever it's we're speaking we want to always speak the truth um sometimes we want to say a little white lie just because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings it's better just not to say anything at all because um even if we say something that's not true that we think is for a good reason it's still our human sinful nature happening we feel it's for a good reason but truth is always the best um, always be truthful um and and if it's something that sometimes it's it's best just maybe not to say anything at all um unless it's something that must be said um because sometimes there are little things that just don't need to be said but anyway so we have truth and then we have peace so uh the meaning of peace is freedom from disturbance um or it's considered trans tranquility it's a state or a period in which there is no war or a war has ended and that's what we have that we want to when we address things on our feet we keep the the uh will be i forgot the words now uh we'll be ready on our feet for 
uh, the gospel of peace because that's what the gospel is uh, the, the the gospel the written the written word it's all about love it's all about peace and it's our it's our instruction book anything you need to know is in this book believe me it really is um then they mentioned the word supplications twice and i said well let's let's look at what supplication is supplication it's a noun it's an act or an instance of supplicating which sounds silly but because that doesn't tell you what it is it's a humble prayer or an entreaty or a petition so it, it's to pray humbly uh to petition to ask god for advice to to ask god it with the truth you know so these are all um these are all part of the armor of god i don't want to make this video as long as i did last time and i'm already at 20 minutes i so i apologize so um but what i'll ask you to do is if you'd like you can go ahead and reread um Ephesians 6 you can go over it um, I will be posting the uh, the song link to this to a song I will also post what the um, armor of God is and again if you want to download a picture or you know and print out a picture of, uh, or if you want to make something to remind you what the armor of God is so these are things because it back back in the day um we've been fighting battles for many many years here on earth and spiritually so the, the, this has been going on for many many years so um in honor of our fallen soldiers who have done all this who, who have protected us our country and um and and, and our families I want to thank them and I will be saying a special prayer for their families uh, and this is going you know even their ancestors you know the, the, the ancestors who whoever is alive today uh, if they have passed years and years ago um, battle is never fun it's it's and it happens sometimes it's we have a battle within ourselves we feel torn between two things but these are the things that will help us get through it and prayer will always help us find the true answer prayer and reading the bible that sorry hit the sides <laughs> got me a little nervous there um but prayer and reading the bible will answer your, your questions and and again if you still feel um not sure and then definitely talk to somebody um, somebody who you know who you trust and ask them and and hopefully it will be somebody who understands the Lord and uh, can give you uh, good advice but in the meantime I wish you all a wonderful week or two weeks we'll see you when I uh, post again it'll either be one or two weeks um, and uh, and keep in prayer keep you reading your Bible there are many wonderful stories in the Bible and, um, and, and just some such fun activities too. It's just, it's, it is, it's an exciting book. It really is. There's a lot of great story and history in the Bible, which I think you will all enjoy. So I, so I know you will all enjoy it. So in the meantime, keep reading, keep praying, sing. If that's what you love to do, draw. If that's what you love to do, be creative, be you, but be you with God. In the meantime, I love you, and I will be back in a week or two. Mwah! God bless. Bye-bye. Where's my button? There's my button. <laughs> Bye.